Hey, Chase Parsons here, Nitro National Pro Staff, and these are exciting times for deep V owners if you're looking at the Nitro line of boats. Obviously people are familiar with the Nitro ZV19 and also the 21. Both those models have been out for quite some time now, but now we have a new model that we're going to add to the lineup. And behind me is the Nitro ZV20, and it's a hull that I've had the opportunity for the past year to run, actually on the tournament scene. So I've put it through its paces, and I'm extremely, extremely impressed with what it's shown me. When we look at this hull, you're gonna see a lot of similarities basically in the hull formation of what you've seen in that Nitro ZV21. The one main difference that you're gonna see within the hull formations is Nitro's actually put their NVT hull technology in, and this Nitro Vortex technology is what they call it. And the way you're gonna notice that is to look at the bottom of this hull. This ZV20 has a ton of different parabolic curves on the bottom, almost like mini reverse chines, if you will. And what that does is it gives you a very good running platform, and also it makes the boat even more stable. So two things that you really wanna look at when you're looking for deep V boats. It's also gonna have that rapid planing system that the 21 has to get that boat up on plane really quick. You're gonna have a flat transom area. The boat is 20 feet, two inches in length, 100 inches in beam, so big, big platform. As we go inside the boat, you're gonna see that this platform is not only gonna be great for the serious angler, but it's gonna be very good for families as well too. It's gonna keep you safe on really, really big bodies of water. The boat's gonna obviously come on a Nitro Custom dual axle trailer, but overall this entire package has some of the same things from the past ZVs, but really it's a whole new animal. So I'll tell you what, why don't we dump this thing in, I'll take you through the inside of it and you can see for yourself. So now that we're out on the water inside the ZV20, let's basically take you through the entire interior of this boat from all the way at the back to the bow. Starting with the back, the 26 gallon Guardian live well. You can put a bunch of big walleyes, a bunch of big small moss, whatever you want in it. Tons of room right there for big fish. And in the back corners right here, you have those drop-in bins that actually have molded slots uh, that fit up to seven 3,700 boxes. So you can get basically tackle storage in the back corners. They're removable. When you look at the side boxes, still tons and tons of storage. You can fit 16 3,700 boxes in each side. There's just tons of tackle that you can put in this ZV20. One of the things that you'll notice right off the bat is how much sharper the lines are on the inside. Um, when you look at the top cap, everything's squared off a little bit more than what you've been familiar with in the past. Um, there's been a few added cool little options like basically your, your remote uh, drain plug. Uh, you, you have a remote live well switch as well too in the back. You'll notice that the gunnels, we've kept them wide on this ZV20 to basically support a track system. And what we've done is actually kept the rail system that you've seen previously where rod holders were mounted on of, and we chambered that in. So you have the best of both worlds. So it's kind of a pick and choose thing for the angler. We've actually done uh, something for trolling that's really important. We've built in extensions as you go from the back to the front. So just basically what, what you do a lot of times in trolling specifically in rough water is your back rod holders are a little bit lower, your front ones are a little bit higher. And just by the way this track runs on this little hump now on the top cap, you have that built in. And the last thing that I want to talk about back here is obviously battery storage. All the battery storage you need for this hull, even if you're going to run five batteries. So if you're going to run a 36 volt system and then basically two batteries, two cranking batteries to power all your electronics, all your different accessories you're going to put in the boat, we have room to center all five batteries in the floor here. And on top of that, the onboard chargers are also mounted on the inside just like you've seen from the ZV21. So now we're at what I would consider the office of the boat, right in the middle of it. 
Actually, we're sitting right on top of the 55 gallon fuel tank, so you can go a long distance. But when it comes to the layout of what we really wanted to do with this boat is basically kind of uh, almost spice it up, make it look a little bit sharper, change a few things in the console configurations to make this thing even nicer than what we've seen in the past. And the first thing that you'll notice, something that we definitely wanted to keep is the dual level driver's console here. Uh, something to where you could put two large graphs side by side. Obviously the options are gonna be endless on what type of electronics you can order with the ZV20. The beauty is neither of those big graphs are covering up any of the gauges, any of the accessory panels, none of that stuff. So it's very, very easy to access everything. The thing that we've also done with this panel is basically add what we call the Z-Touch touch screen into the boat. So there's no toggle switches anymore for your, for your live wall switches, for your lights, for all the different accessories around the boat. It's actually all touch screen now. The fan system's on there, the recirc, all the pump outs, all the different features that you need are actually on a nice touch screen model right here too. You have your radio right here, so radio is very accessible. One of the things that we wanted to do is add tool holders to this boat. You'll actually see we have cup holders by the feet on each the driver and passenger side. We also have a nice tool holder situation right behind each of the seats. The seats are centric X's, so stylish, very, very comfortable. You have suspension pedestal options to get with this boat. When we went over to the passenger console, the key is to make sure that we had a good grab handle, something that's very easy for a passenger to hold on to with two hands, so we have a nice long handle there. We have a phone holder, uh, something that seems pretty simple, um, but a lot of boats just quite frankly don't have. The glove box is angled the right direction. It's angled down, so when you open up the glove box, things don't fall out on you. There's a ton of room to put different things. Under each of the consoles, we've also added storage bins. Uh, basically, friction doors that flip down, you can add a little bit more tackle into those. You have your same tackle holder right in the center here too. When you go into, uh, I'll consider it the middle of the boat, we're gonna talk about the rod box here. We still have the two tubes, where you can actually double rods up if you want, if they're in rod socks, and that big open storage area underneath. So you can easily fit 20 plus rods when it comes to the middle of the boat, you have something that's very, very nice, very simple for the angler to use. So now we're at the final area of the ZV-21. We're up at the bow. And one of the things that we really wanted to do with this hull is make sure that there was enough room for anglers to comfortably fish up here. And that's why it was so important that we made sure that the consoles were laid out in this boat proportionately. There was a lot of room in the back, a lot of room in the front. So that's what we did here. And the one thing that you'll notice is we've done a few things that are maybe just a little bit different up here. The, the bait well is actually now uh, flush in the floor. We have the same cooler set up, a huge insulated cooler so you can fit all your drinks, all your snacks throughout the day. The dry storage areas that we have up in front are very deep. They run all the way up to the bow, so lots of room there as well too. But plenty of room up here to fish any type of technique you're looking for. You'll see that the, the rail system is still accessible up here, chambered in like in the past, where you can run rod holders if you want. Uh, when we go up to the right at the tip of the boat, plenty of room to mount electronics on any type of mount you want. We have a recessed area for a foot pedal. There's basically endless options that you have with what bow mount that you want to choose to put on this boat. The thing that a lot of people have been asking for is tool storage up near the bow. So we have that cornered up off to the side here, out of the way, but where you could put uh, you know, pliers, you have a cup holder up there now. So just a few added features to the bow of the 20 footer that, that really make it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to fish out of. So if you're in the market for a big deep V boat for big water, be sure to check out this Nitro ZV20. I think in terms of the construction of the hull and everything we did to the interior of this boat, it's gonna meet a lot of anglers needs. Be sure to check out the new Nitro ZV20. I think you're gonna really like what you see because it's one heck of a boat.